Hi everyone and welcome to class today. So today we are going to do a very fun arm balancing pose, the side crow. And from there you have an option, uh, actually I encourage you to try, to split your legs out and make it uh, a pose called EPK1. So uh, let's do that together. We're going to start on the floor uh, and we're going to start with Kapalabhati. Remember that breath. So let's sit and sit on blocks or pillow if you need uh, them to keep your hips quite relaxed and make space for your spine to go up straight. You can put your hands on your belly and close your eyes. When you inhale, take a long and deep inhale and feel your belly growing into your hand. And exhale, tighten your belly in. It's like your belly wants to go away from your hand. Inhale your belly growing toward your hand and exhale squeeze your belly button toward your spine and away from your hand If you can do this without your hand then let's leave your hand on your knee and let your belly work on its own. So the next time you inhale deeply, and when you exhale, I want you to push the, I want you to push the air through your nose very fast. Take another deep inhale and exhale. It's like your belly button go into your back very quickly. And so in Kapalabhati, we're going to do this action continuously without paying attention to your inhale. So in the next breath, inhale and exhale. Then you inhale only halfway in and you start doing 20 rounds of Kapalabhati. Come back to your slow and long breath. Relax your belly every time you inhale. And remember that you can do it slow. You don't have to do as fast as uh, me or anyone else. And you don't pay attention to the inhale. Your body will find some way to take your breath in. You only focus on exhaling and try to squeeze your belly and make the action coming from your belly. So let's do the second round, inhale and exhale and next time you inhale only halfway in and 20 round Kapalabhati. Take long deep breath again. Feel your belly and especially your core warming up. And then inhale deeply and exhale completely. Then the next time you inhale, inhale only halfway. Then you exhale and do the last final uh, 20 rounds of Kapalabhati. Go back to your breathing pattern. Relax your belly and feel if you are uh, kind of light-headed. Take long and slow breath to bring your body back to a calm and slow beat. After one more breath, we're going to open our eyes. 
and then slowly open your eyes. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. And exhale, bring your hands down to the floor and sit with your legs touching each other. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, raise your chest. And exhale, turn your body to the right side. Inhale one more time. And exhale, turn more to the right side where you're squeezing your legs toward each other. And then let's inhale, come up to the center. Exhale, hands in front of your heart again. Inhale, raise your heart up. And exhale, turn your body to the left side. One more breath, inhale, turn, squeeze your legs toward each other. And exhale, turn more and more to the left side. And inhale, bring your arms over your head. And exhale, both pose. So bring your hands down to the floor, lift your legs up. You can point your toes or point, flex your foot. Bring your arms out, inhale in both pose. And exhale, cross your legs and go to the table pose. In table, let's inhale and exhale, move your shoulder forward. Feel heavier on your hands. And then let's come back. Put your index finger and your thumbs down. Go forward and find your arms being very uh, strong and heavy. And go back. This time, external rotation. Show your elbow crease and your biceps. Press your thumb and your index finger down to the floor. Move your shoulder forward. Mm. And go back. Inhale, raise your right leg up. And exhale, step your right foot. Hand. And raise yourself up in a kind of low lunge. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale here and exhale, turn yourself more to the right side and stay here for three breaths. So every time you inhale, grow taller and exhale, twist more and feel the muscles on the side of your body working down. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Let's bring your arm to the outside of your knee. Push your knee to your arm and push your arm to your knee and twist. So this connection between your arm and your knee is very important. Try to make the best use of it and turn your chest up and up. Take one more inhale and exhale. Back to the floor, hands down to the floor. Bring your front foot back into table pose. Press your index finger and your hands down, your, your index finger and your thumb down to the floor. Turn your biceps and your elbow crease out. External rotation. Inhale, move your shoulder forward. And exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze your elbows toward the side of your body, half chaturanga. Then lay down to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, still external rotation by bringing your elbows toward your body. And then exhale, lay down to the floor again. Tuck your toes and keep your knees on the floor, squeezing your elbows in. Push your body up into half plank, full plank pose. In plank. Press your index finger and your thumb down and external rotation. Move your shoulder forward, feel very heavy on your hands. And then go back for two more rounds. Inhale, go forward. And exhale, go back. One last round, inhale, go forward. And exhale, go back and bring your hips up into downward facing dog. Walk your heels on and off the floor here in down dog. Find a distance between your feet and your hand that you will become stable in downward facing dog. And try to bring your hips up higher and higher. Then let's inhale, shoulder right on top of your hands, bend your knees and put them down to the floor into a table pose. So let's inhale, bring your left leg up and exhale, step your left foot toward your left hand and raise yourself up into a kneeling pose. Keep your hips square, inhale, bring your hands in front of your heart. Try to make one straight line between your elbows and exhale. We're going to twist to the left side and stay here for three more breaths. So inhale, raise your spine up longer, higher, and exhale, twist. Every time you exhale, try to squeeze your belly in so that you will feel the muscles on the side of your core, the oblique. It helps you to twist. And then one more breath, inhale and exhale. Let's bring your arm to put on the outside of your leg. Push your leg to your arm and push your arm back to your leg. 
and make best use of this very strong force of pushing to turn your chest up toward the sky. So eventually your thumb, uh, your thumbs will end up at the middle of your chest. Inhale deeply and exhale, twist a little bit more and then come back to the center. Inhale, arms up and exhale, hands down to the floor. Bring your front leg back to the floor in table pose and then share external rotation showing biceps and elbow pose. Press your whole hands down to the floor, especially inside your thumb and your index finger. Move forward and exhale, bend your elbows. Try to stay here. Squeezing your elbows in. And then let's go down to the floor. Cobra pose, still external rotation. Squeezing elbows in. And then let's go down to the floor as you exhale. Tuck your toes, keep your knees on the floor, squeezing your elbows in. Press your hands to the floor. When you exhale, squeeze your belly button up. And when you inhale, put the arm strength. And go to half plank and then full plank. So in full plank, external rotation still with your arms. Press your um, index finger and your thumb down to the floor and then inhale and exhale, go forward. Inhale, go back. Very heavy, very strong in the arms. Go forward when you exhale. And one last time, inhale, go back, and exhale, go forward. Then inhale, go back, and exhale, hips up into downward facing dog. Find a nice distance between your feet and your hands so that you can be stable in down dog. And before you walk your heels on and off the floor, use your awareness to see if you're pushing your thumb and your index fingers down to the floor. If you are not, press them down. Use more of the inside of your hands than the outside and then walk your heels on and off the floor. Hmm. Then let's look at your hands. Press your hands down to the floor very much. Raise your heels up and bend your knees so that you can tip toes forward. Don't change your hands position at all and see how close you can walk your feet toward your hands in this pose. It's like you're almost standing on your hands. Oh, and then stay on your feet. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward bend. And stand up as you inhale. Bring your arms over your head. Exhale hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Take a break in Tadasana pose. And you can lift your arms along your body and move your wrist very gently while you take a rest. Then let's slowly open your eyes and be ready to sun salutation. Um, so because we're going to have the arm balancing at the uh, end of the class, you're going to pay a lot of attention on how you're putting your hands on the floor. And let's prepare one or two blocks with you for the twist later. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, chair pose, sink your hip low. Inhale in chair and exhale forward bend, bring your belly to your thighs. Inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend again. In forward bend today you can bend your knees slightly then step your right foot back a long step. Put your right hand on the floor, bend your front knee, make your front knee right on the top of your ankle and open your left hand up to the sky into a uh, uh, lunge twisted into a twisted lunge pose. Now I want you to think of your right hip, feel where it is, you cannot see it in this pose, and lift your right hip up. So you're lifting your left shoulder up and your right hip up in the twist. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hand down to the floor. Step your front foot back into plank pose and check your arms. External rotation, thumbs and index finger to the floor. Inhale and plank. Exhale, move your shoulder forward. If you need to, bring your knees down to the floor or try to bend both elbows. And then inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, it's hard here. See if you can bring your shoulder down halfway and lift your belly and your hip up. So back to chaturanga and push up into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
walk your heels on and off the floor a little bit in down dog or stay here for a few breaths and again use your awareness to see if your hands are sticking on the floor inhale raise your right leg up and exhale bring your right knee toward your right armpit inhale bring your right leg up the mountain climber we're going to do it three times and exhale bring your right knee to your face Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, bring your right knee outside of your left arm. And then inhale, bring your right leg up, and exhale, bring your right foot to your right hand position. Keep your left hand on the floor, and bring your right hand up to the sky, twisted lunge. And here, let's use your awareness, feel where your left hip is. When you find it, lift your left hip up and up. So you twisting yourself by bringing your right arm, right shoulder and left hip up. Inhale here and exhale hands down to the floor. Step your back foot forward into forward bend. Inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend. Mm. Inhale chair pose and exhale stand up straight. Take a deep inhale here and exhale hands in front of your heart. Take a small break before we do the other side. Once you are ready, let's inhale, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, squat into a chair pose. Inhale here and exhale, forward bend, barely sticking to your thighs. Inhale, halfway up and exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot back. Keep your left hand on the floor, this time only your left fingertips. So be really strong with your leg and bring your arms up. Now the twist and uh, uh, use your awareness to feel your left hip again and lift your left hip up. Turn your chest more and more to the side. And now see if you can stand on your legs so strong that you lift your hands off the floor. Take a deep inhale here and exhale hands down to the floor. Step your front foot back into plank pose. External rotation in plank. Show your elbow crease and your biceps. Squeeze your Push your uh, thumb and your index finger down to the floor. Inhale, move your shoulder forward. And exhale, chaturanga or knees down to the floor. Then bring your knees down to the floor and push up into cobra pose. Inhale. Now it's a hard thing. Bring your hip up, bring your shoulder down. Chaturanga again. Push up to plank. And then downward facing dog. Walk your heels on and off the floor. And check your thumb and your index finger and make sure they are still pressing down to the floor. Then when you inhale, raise your left leg up. The mountain climber, exhale left knee toward your left arm. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left knee to your left, to your face. One more time, inhale, left leg up. And exhale, left knee outside of your right arm. Inhale, left leg up. And this time, step your left foot toward your left hand. Only your right fingertips on the floor. Bend your knee, twisted lunge. And then try to lift your right heel up at the same time as your left shoulder. And then see if you can lift your fingertips from the floor too. Inhale. And exhale, both hands down to the floor. Step your back foot forward into forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward bend. Let's hold your elbows here. And relax. So you're just hanging here. You can bend your knees. And you can move gently from side to side. Slowly raise your head up as high as your hips. And sit down into chair pose as you inhale. Slowly stand up and exhale, hands in front of your heart. All hands to the side of your body. And close your eyes. 
take long deep breath here and take a break inhale and exhale slowly to calm down with your breath And now let's prepare a block so that we can uh, use it in uh, balancing poses. Stand in front of your mat and touch your knees to each other and touch your feet. And sit down into a chair pose. So now look at your knees. You can see your knees are equal to each other. And your hips are square too. Bring your hands in front of your heart. And then inhale and exhale. Turn yourself to the right side for the twist. Inhale one more time and exhale, twist more so that you can bring your arm outside your knee. You can sit down a bit lower so that it's easier for the twist. Now push your knee to your arm and push your arm back to your knee and you will notice that your left leg will try to go forward like this but you pull it back, pulling your left hip back so that you keep your hips and your knees square. Inhale one more time. Exhale, try to push through your leg and your arms so that you can turn your chest out and up. One more time, inhale and exhale. Let's bring your hand down to the floor. Inhale halfway up. Then exhale, forward bend. You step your left foot back, long step, and open your left foot out to a warrior two pose. Inhale, stand up. Inhale and exhale, sink your hip lower in warrior two. Inhale and exhale reverse warrior inhale and exhale extended side angle with your elbow on your knee easy variation now inhale warrior two exhale reverse warrior inhale warrior two and exhale bring your fingertips on the floor or bring your hands on the block and ready to go to half moon so now your hip is inside a base that is very wide it's easy to keep balance in warrior two but you're going to stack your hip right on the top of your front foot that's your new base and your back leg will feel so light that it will lift off the floor mm. warrior two stay for two more breaths and then let's bend your knee and slowly step back into warrior two again Inhale and exhale, holding your hands on your hips. Let's turn yourself into the lunge pose. Bring your hands in front of your heart as you inhale and exhale, twist. Just like we did in the chair pose. So bend your knee a lot and push your knee to your arm. And push your arm to your knee and twist. Try to lift your back leg up too. And then bring your hands down to the floor and step your front foot back into plank pose. Inhale and plank. Uh, inhale, external rotation, showing your biceps. And press your index and your thumb down to the floor. And exhale, move your shoulder forward. Bend your elbow through Chaturanga and lay down to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, let's go down to the floor. Stay here for some breath and prepare your mind that you are going to push up into plank. So imagine your whole body from head to heel has to be as um, hard, as tight as an wooden plank. Then let's tuck your toes down to the floor, lift your knees up. So now your legs are really hard here. The same as in Chaturanga. Squeeze your belly up. And then when you're ready, add some arm strength, squeezing your elbows toward your body. Leave the floor into plank. Ooh. And downward facing dog. Walk your heels on and off the floor in down dog. And then, then bring your right leg up. So inhale, right leg up. And exhale, bend your knee and bring your right knee outside of your left hand. Let's step your right foot out and now bring both feet down to the floor, standing at the side of your feet, standing only on your right hand and bring your left hand up to the ceiling 
in the uh, wide leg side plank. Now let's bring your right foot even further away from your left foot. And now your right foot is like, kind of like on the same line as your right hand. Inhale, bring your hip up higher. And exhale, bring your hand down to the floor. Step your right foot forward toward your right hand position. And slowly stand up into high lunge pose. So inhale, high lunge. And exhale, bring your left hand to the front and right hand behind into the high lunge twisted. Move your back hand down to the floor and meet the front arm. High lunge again, inhale. And exhale, twisted. So we're going to do one more time. Don't change anything at your legs at all. And exhale, twist it. Now look at your front hand, let's bring it down to the floor. And then hold the block. Put the block to the left side. Bring your back leg closer and closer so that you can lift your back leg up into a twisted half moon. Try to lift your back leg up at the same time as you turn in your chest toward the right side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale one more time and exhale, step your foot down to the floor and move the blocks away. Chair pose. Inhale, bring your arms over your head, raise your heels up in chair and sit down lower and lower so that you can bring your armpit to touch your knees and put your hands down to the floor into crowd pose. So at first you don't have to think of flying, stay here and try to press your thumb and your index finger down to the floor, hugging your elbows in for external rotation and start moving your hip up and forward so that you feel very heavy on your hands and very light on your feet next time you exhale squeeze your belly up it's like you are pushing your hip up even higher and then let's bring your feet down to the floor stand with your feet so that was the crowd pose we're going to do it later so you don't have to hold very long here Inhale, raise your head up as high as your heart. Hmm. And once you are uh, not feeling heart light-headed anymore, you can stand up and bring your arms over your head. Inhale. And exhale, bring your arms to the side of your body. Close your eyes. That was a lot of work. Very good for the body but you are going to find relaxation. Bring your body to relax mode. So you calm down in your breath and listen to your heartbeat and wait for it to slow down. You feel tired in your hands. Let's make nice and relaxing movement for your hands, like squeezing, rotating at your wrist. And then we do the same on the other side. So let's bring your feet closer. Touch your knees, touch your feet, sit down into chair pose. So my experience is the lower I sit, the easier I can reach my arm to the outside of my thigh. And notice how your knees and your hips are square. Hands in front of your heart, inhale and exhale, twist toward the left side. Bring your arm outside of your knee. Now your right knee will want to go forward, but you pull your right hip back so that you keep your knees and your hips equally. To each other let's inhale and exhale push your arm to your knee and your knee to your arm to turn your chest up and you should feel a stretch on your right side inhale and exhale for one more breath inhale and exhale bring your hands down to the floor open your feet a bit wider inhale halfway up and exhale forward bend step your right foot back a long step and open your right foot out so that you can stand up into warrior two. Stand up from the floor in warrior two and spend about two breaths here to check in with your pose. So inhale and exhale, sink your hip low. 
Inhale and exhale, open your front knee out a little bit. Inhale and exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, bring your elbow onto your knee, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, bring your hand down to the floor and find the block. Move your hip forward so that it will stack right on the top of your front foot. Then your back leg will be very light and you can lift it off the floor. Half moon pose. Stay here for two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. See if you can still turn in your thigh bone out of your standing leg. And then let's bend your front knee and slowly step back into warrior two. Bring your arms out. Holding your hands at your hips. Turn your hips and lift your back heels up into lunge. Keep your front knee bent like as much as in uh, chair pose and then bring your hands in front of your heart. Inhale and exhale. Twist yourself toward the right, left side and bring your arm outside of your thigh. Inhale longer and exhale, twist. Try to make your back leg really strong and lift your right hip off the floor. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Hands down to the floor, step into plank pose. Inhale in plank, opening your biceps and your elbow crease out and exhale. Press your fingertips to the floor, press your index and your thumb to the floor. Move your plank forward, bend your elbows, push your knees off the floor, don't let your knee fall down. Chaturanga, squeeze your elbows to your body and lay down to the floor. Whew. Inhale, cobra pose, even a small one will do and exhale back to the floor again. Take several breaths here and prepare in your mind, in your imagination, what you're going to do next in the push-up. Think of your body from head to heel like an wooden plank and you're going to lift the plank off the floor. So at first prepare your hands, make sure that your hands are pressing down to the floor even in your index finger and your thumb. Squeeze your elbows into your body. Tap your toes, lift your knees up first and then tuck your belly up very much and next time you inhale push up into plank and downward facing dog. Hmm. Walk your heels on and off the floor and stay in down dog a little bit to calm down with your breath. And even in down dog always pay attention to your index finger and your thumb. Push them down to the floor. And now let's bring your right uh, left leg up. Inhale and exhale left knee to the outside of your right arm. And then let's flip yourself so that your foot will be on the floor. Wait. So that your feet will be on the floor on the side and slowly bring your right hand up to the ceiling into side plank with your leg wide. Keep your back leg the same but see if you can open your front foot further and further away to make it even wider. Inhale for one more time and exhale bring your hand down to the floor. Raise your back heel up and step your left foot to the front of your mat. Let's go up into high lunge again. And then we're going to do three times between the twist and the high lunge. Bring your arms up as you inhale, high lunge. And exhale, right hand in front of you, left hand behind you. Bring your left arm down and meet your right arm. Inhale, bring both of them up to the sky. And exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. Don't change anything in your legs. And exhale, twist. Hmm. Now let's look at your front hand, bring it down to the floor and find the block. Bring the block forward and start stepping your back foot closer and closer. 
when your hip is right on the top of your standing leg, your back leg will not hold any weight and it will be lifted up easily in twisted half moon. Try to lift your right leg up very much while you're turning your body to the left side. Inhale and exhale, bend your knee and step your foot down to the floor. Let's move the block. Bend your knees a lot. Take some breath here and ready to go to crow pose. So lift your heels up high, bend your knees a lot. And bring your armpit into your knees, hands down to the floor. You can bring your knees a bit outside to your arms. So maybe some, some, to some people it's easier. And then start moving your hips forward and forward. Think of your hands as your new base. You're standing with your hands, so you have to put your hip right on the top of your hands. And once you do that, you will stand in crowd pose naturally. Your, lift, your hips, uh, your feet will be lifted off the floor naturally. And then let's stand on your feet again. Inhale halfway up and slowly stand up. Ooh. You can give yourself a nice stretch. And exhale, hands down to the side of your body. Close your eyes. Take very long and deep breath. So wait again for your breath to cool down. And now we're going to do the twisted chair pose again. So you can watch me first here. We're going to do a twisted chair and then we'll step your left foot back into a twisted lunge. So let's do that together. So sit down and keep your knees touching. Inhale, hands in front of your heart and exhale, twist. Bring your arm outside of your legs and push uh, your, uh, and pull your left hip back so that your legs, uh, your knees and your hip will be equal. Inhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist. Now look onto the floor and you stand only with your right leg. Let's step your left foot back, a long step, into a twisted lunge and try to be stable here. So if you fall out of the pose, just slowly find your way into lunge and twist yourself this way. Okay, and then bring your hands down toward the floor. Let's step your back foot a bit closer and keep your hips still facing the front of your mat. Bring your back heel down to the floor and prepare a block. Inhale, stand up, straighten both of your knees hand holding at your hips, we're going to do pyramid pose. So inhale, tilt your tailbone up and exhale, bring your body parallel to the floor. Left hand onto the block, you can use the high side or the low side. And right hand pointing up to the sky, you're twisting your chest toward the right side. Inhale deeply and exhale. Now let's make this a bit more challenging by move the block you're holding to the outside of your foot. So it's a bit harder and always pulling your right hip back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale one more time and exhale. And now it's even harder. Let's try to do the side plank, wide leg. So let's uh, bring your right hand down to the floor and do a fallen triangle. So your legs will still be in this shape. Move your hands away and away and start having more weight on your hands to the side of your mat. So that you can lift your, right, uh, your left hand up into the fallen triangle pose or wide leg side plank. And to get out of this pose, we're going to step your feet on the floor again and go back. So this is funny. Move your blocks away. Step your front foot back. Plank pose. Chaturanga, inhale, turn your elbow crease out. Exhale, bring your shoulder forward and down to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Hmm. Stay for a while in down dog.
And then let's walk, uh, step your feet toward the center of your mat. Let's put a block underneath your heel so that you can squat. So this is a, a squat here. Hmm. So you squat here and you're going to watch me do the side crowd pose. Okay, so you sitting here, side crow is from the um, uh, twisted squat pose. It's like twisted chair, but you are squatting. So you try to bring your arm outside of your, uh, you try to bring, so you try to bring your left arm outside of your right knee and try to squeeze your knees to each other. It's like your legs are glued together and twist. So option one, you can just stay here. It's already a big twist. If you want to try it, then bring your hand down to the floor to the side and slowly bring yourself to that direction, just like the falling triangle. So you feel more and more weight on your hands and less and less weight on your legs. I suggest that you turn your face to look to the left side and you should bring your head quite low toward the floor. Then maybe you can lift your legs up <laughs> and get out of the pose. So let's try that. It's fine if you only lift one leg up, but the thing is that you have to feel that uh, weight, your body weight, sifting from your feet to your hands. So we really fall to the right side. Okay, I'm going to do this again with you. Bring your arm, bring your knee on the top of your arm. Glue your knees together. Put your hands down to the floor. Don't straighten your elbow. Bend your elbows like in Chaturanga and start falling yourself that way. You can look to the left side, so you will not fear of hitting your face on the floor. Ooh, and maybe you can bring only one leg up, like this. That's enough. Or you can bring both legs up. This pose is tiring, but it's quite fun actually. Okay. So after you have done with this pose, Go to downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the floor. Open your knees wide and child's pose. So bend your elbows and put your hands on the top of your um, shoulder. We will not rest here for long, only several few breaths. And then let's slowly get out of this pose too. Step your feet forward and sit down into a yogi squat. So if you are not used to squatting, you can support your heels with blocks or you can sit on... And then slowly open your eyes and stand up. Take a small break in the mountain pose. And then slowly open your eyes. So step your feet close again. We're going to do twisted chair and then step to twisted lunge. Sit down into chair pose. Hands in front of your heart, inhale. And exhale, twist yourself. So from this pose, we're going to stand only on your left leg. You can look down to the floor and see how your right leg is being lifted up and sent back into twisted lunge. Stay in twisted lunge for several breaths. If you fall out of the pose, you can just come back to lunge and then twisted lunge. Mm. 
and then let's bring your hands down to the floor and prepare the block with you put the block on the right side step your back foot closer and stand up with both of your legs straight and your hip is facing the front we're going to do pyramid pose so inhale till your tailbone up and exhale parallel to the floor right hand down to the block and then left hand up to the sky twisted triangle pose take a few breath here and always pulling your left hip back then let's look at the block on the floor lift it up and bring it to the outside of your foot so a new level of twisted triangle if you feel like you don't need the block you can put your hands on the floor too but maybe you can use a lower side of your block and now let's do the fallen triangle so you are triangle here and you are going to fall to the left side let's move the block out hold your hands on the floor it's fine if you bend your knees because maybe you don't reach the floor walk your hands further and imagine one line that go between your feet let's put your left hand on that line and now you're falling toward your left hand let's stand on the floor with only the side of your feet and open your right hand up to the sky into fallen triangle or wide leg side plank like we did before to get out of this pose you can bend both knees walk your hands back and back then step your front foot back into plank pose I swear to you this is the last time we do chaturanga so external rotation first move forward really lift your thighs and your knees off the floor chaturanga and then lay down to the floor inhale cobra pose and exhale let's go back down to the floor and this will be the last time we do the push up so tuck your toes prepare your mind lift your knees up lift your belly up squeeze your elbows in and push up wow that was facing dog walk your heels on and off the floor a little bit and then step your feet closer to the middle of your mat and let's squat so let's put a block underneath your heels it's easier for us to squat this way and close your eyes and take some more break here so you can sit here and watch me do the side crowd again so you will put your hand to the side of your body so if I'm sitting here facing the front of my mat I'm going to twist myself to the left side put my right arm outside of the knee and glue the knees together so don't, don't make them fall apart they're squeezing to each other and then I'm going to bend my elbows all the time put my hands to the left side and start doing the falling triangle so the same, the same uh, direction we, we fell in the falling triangle bring my head forward very much until my feet my hip will be right on the top of my hand and that's when my feet will fly off the floor naturally like this and then go back so you can try that and I'm going to do that with you so I'm going to do it this way so that we can do it together so if I'm facing this way I'm going to put my hand on my side it's like a 90 degree angle okay so let's bring your right arm outside of your knee left knee glue your knees together twist first and then keep your elbows bent so this arm we're already holding the weight of your legs put your hands on the floor and start moving that way so you start falling and falling I suggest you look with your face looking to the right side so if you hit it's only will be your head on the floor it's not your face and go back so you can try that again and again and it's fine if you only lift one leg up like here this is fine or here this is fine too and go back so I will wait here for you to do that and after you do it we will go to the child's pose because we deserve it child's pose 
Bend your elbows and put your hands on the top of your shoulders. You can hold your hands and you can make nice and relaxing movement with your wrist. And then slowly come out of this pose. Hmm. Hmm. So now you can sit here and this part will be optional. You can choose to do it. Or you can just sit and watch me do it. So now I'm going to take the uh, falling triangle into a, a new level. I'm going to put it onto an arm balance. So maybe you have noticed that uh, the, the arms in the arm balancing like crowd and side crowd, they are exactly the arms in Chaturanga. So when you ace Chaturanga pose, you know that you can do arm balancing. Right, so the hard thing is that you need to make your body in certain shape and then you put those shape flying on the arms of chaturanga so if you can do chaturanga and those shape you can do those arm balancing okay so about the uh, falling triangle i'm going to start with my knees bent and if you want to you can even bring your back knee to the floor like this twist now one arm will be holding my knee Yes, and then I'll put my hand on the floor and I start falling into my own arms. My head will look a bit to the left side so that I will not hit my face on the floor. And I will start lifting my knee off the floor and go into this pose and maybe I can lift one leg up and maybe no leg up. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay, something like that. So if you want to try, you can try it. One more way to, to try it is to do from side crow. So if you can hold in side crow, you straighten your legs and open your legs like in the twisted triangle pose. So I will try that. Maybe that's easier for me today. Okay, so put your knee on your arm again, hand to the floor, ready to go to side crow by Again, falling to your arms. So once you're in side crow, bring your legs out and out. Something like that. Okay. God, this is so tiring. Right, so you can try on your with your right leg to the front and left leg back first. I'll wait here for you. And we try the other side. If you go to, if you have been to break dancing, I think this will be easy for you. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's very hard for everyone. So now that you are warm, just, just take it as a fun thing to try. Okay, and then let's try the other side. So I'm going to change, I'm going to face this way so that I will do it with you. Actually, I face this way. Okay, so now my left leg will be on the front and my right leg will be back. I will fall to this direction, which means my left side. So at first a twist. Once I'm here, I'm bringing my hand down to the floor and I start falling to this side. So it looks very sloppy, but being sloppy is the first step to looking nice actually. So I fall that way and maybe I can bring one leg up and maybe the other leg up too. <laughs> okay, failed. <laughs> but I'm going to do it uh, with the side crown. So you can try it and if you want to try side crown, you do it with me. I will start from side crown again. So my knee will be holding, uh, uh, my arm will be holding my knees. 
side crow falling to my arms so that my arms will catch my body weight <laughs> my pen is stuck right okay so this happened that if I don't put my arm on the knee bone, it will be on the thigh and it will be very tight muscle here. So it will be painful for me. So I will try to put my knee bone on the arm. And maybe I can point my toes and do this. Okay, that was like half a second. <laughs> you can try that. If you fall, it, it doesn't matter because this one is less scary than the crowd pose. And once you're done with it, you can just lay down to the floor. Oh my god, that was so crazy, those arm balancing poses. So stay here for a while and wait for your heart to slow down. And let's touch your feet together and open your knees wide so it gives you a back bend on its own. A back bend, uh, a very gentle back bend. Now your low back is not on the floor. And bring your arms over your head. When you feel like you have calmed down in your breath, let's slowly close your legs and turn yourself so that you are laying with your belly on the floor. Open your arms out like a little T. Turn your face to the right side. Bend your right elbow and bring your right hand closer to you. Lift your right leg up and bring it behind you and put it on the floor. So keep your left hand the same, don't change your left hand position, but think of moving your right foot closer and closer to your left hand. But make sure that your legs are still relaxing. So now it's a small back bend and chest opening for the left side. You're also stretching the belly and the front of your torso area, which we have been twisting and squeezing a lot today. And slowly bring yourself back to the letter T position. And come to the center and turn your face to the left side. Wait for your body to neutralize a little bit. And then let's bend your left elbow and pull your left hand closer to you. Turn yourself so that your left leg be lifted up 
and be on the floor on your right side keep your right arm exactly here don't change your right arm but you can move your left foot closer and closer to your right hand but you don't have to force that action just let your leg relax so now you are stretching the front of your right shoulder and the front of your torso And let's slowly come back to the letter T shape again. Let yourself neutralize. Before you can turn and lay on your back. So for Savasana today, you can choose between the normal Savasana or you can go to the fish pose. Use a block underneath your chest. Make sure that this block will be between your um, shoulder blades and on your chest. So it will not be on your neck or your lower spine. In this uh, fish pose, bring your arms out or over your head so that it's stretching the front of your shoulder you can also cover your block with a pillow or a blanket so that it will feel less hard or you can use the, the softer block for this pose. If you are in a fist pose, anytime you want to get out and into Savasana, you can turn into one side and move the block out of your way. So eventually let's lay down to the floor into Savasana and let your body calm down after a lot of uh, um, very powerful, very dynamic and energetic movement. Let go of the control of your arms and feel how your arms are resting on the floor. 
you can lift your hands up and move your hands further away from your shoulders and feel all the muscles from your fingertips to your shoulders from small to big they have been working a lot in the arm balance and now they are just melting on the floor then let's bring your heels away from your hips and feel your legs they are relaxing too Feel how your body is cooling down and your breath is calming down and your skin is cooling down too. It was a lot of hard work for you today. So you can stay here for as long as you want. So maybe we didn't do any, maybe you didn't achieve any of the arm balance. No crown, no side crown or no uh, falling triangle or anything. But the important thing is that you train your arm strength and you had some fun. And again, uh, doing uh, sloppy and messy things, is, uh, things are the first step to doing those yoga poses in a nice way. So now you have done the first step, that is to do messy things. Next time you can move on and get closer and closer to the pose. So let's just stay here and enjoy your relaxation. I will see you in next class.
Thank you very much. Namaste.